Okay, this is a continuing video of this uh, screaming, darn near perfect 77 El Camino that we've got here. Uh, you can see it's got the uh, eight inch rally wheels on it now with some vintage tires, chrome rings and all that. So it has a awesome stance to it. And back under the hood with its motor for the year, 354 barrel, of which we've been talking about changing it to a 454. And in that process, looking around the options in town, I'm going to go through here, show you what I found that uh, we were going to use but now we probably are not going to use. I'm gonna walk out here. Through the shop. And go outside because this car is not welcome in here yet. And what we found is this 1974 Call it a barn find, call it a garage find, call it a California blue plate special, whatever the hell you want to call it. It is a one owner, 74 El Camino. It's in fairly decent shape with a factory LS4 big block in it. And when I got this car, it was virtually untouched. So I figured we'd buy this car for the motor, right? No, we don't want to do that. Come to find out this is a numbers matching, absolutely virgin 454 car. It has not been super shopped. It's not been summited, not been jegged. It's not been any kind of hot rod performance. Everything is original and it's, got the number on it. I can't see it with this video. Verified and numbers matching to the car. This is a Z code El Camino. So the van is Z, which is going to indicate your it's a big block car. And the motor matches the last four digits of this, 3904. And so we have a air conditioned big block 74 El Camino. So for you guys that are into stats, this is kind of how it breaks down. For 1974, as we know, was the gas crunch, the oil embargo. And so to buy a big block in 74, you really have to go against societal grains. Uh, you would have to be a person that's not buying into the Prius or the Tesla craze at the time to get a big block. And so it's completely out of the ordinary. And this is the final year for a big block in a and a uh, a body, of course, and it was the final year for the big block in the Corvette. And this is a non-emissions motor, no catalytic converters, dual exhaust. It's got the uh, double exhaust uh, cross member and all that stuff on it. Um, so it's rare. And how rare is it? Well, the Chevelle platform, which encompasses the you know the Malibu two-door, four-door Chevelles, the station wagon and the El Camino. There were 680 something thousand of those made for 1974. And out of all of those cars, there were 16,000 with the big block. So 680 to 16. Now how many El Caminos had the big block? Well, the stats don't tell you. So you're just gonna have to extrapolate those numbers and how many production El Caminos were. So using basic statistics, we're gonna say there's about 1,500 of these cars made if that, and how many of them had air conditioned, how many of them had this, how many of them were triple 400 automatics, we don't know, but rare. And so not only is it that, it's a paperwork dream car. There's the build sheet, that's the serial number. There's your LS4 454 engine, El Camino. There's all your original paperwork from the owner's manual to the original purchase stuff to everything to the california title to all of it now what kind of shape is this car in eh number three
but you know it is a california car so yep got two cracks in the dash you bet it does damn well bet because junior got the car when daddy passed away and junior stuck it outside because junior thought he had gold on his hands and you know he really did uh steering wheel is nice underneath there no cracks no anything all good uh that just fell off i've got you got it right here so there's that it needs a new one but that's really the only part missing on there and it has a triple throw down you know uh crapco radio in it or something like that from the day that's your eight track even so that is aftermarket not the original radio i believe this is an am car what's it say here if it had we'll find out what did it have for a radio uh 273 axle don't believe this is a posi car though which is kind of unusual for a big block but it is what it is uh radio 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 am radio yes yeah, so it's am radio only car tin windshield which it still has that original window lof not been changed uh and the miles you can guarantee you that's 30, 133,000 miles. Uh, but, you know, door panels are nice. Seats trash right there where you get in. But you clean this interior up and just recover or put another seat in it. This thing's pretty darn nice. Still has the original carpet in it. And I got the original floor mat sitting in the back of the truck. There they are. Need to be cleaned up. There's the air cleaner. Original nut. Not been painted on. Still got the sticker on it so uh paint as far as we can tell all the whites original on this car but the blue has probably been let's just say for lack of a better term earl shived probably earl got a hold of it maybe in the 70s 80s but it's not horrible and yeah these are the rallies they're 14 inch by by sevens which are or uh, what they are kind of rare now what's really unique about this car of course it's california so underneath of it is absolutely phenomenal we haven't cleaned a damn thing on this car i'm getting ready to put it up on the lift clean it up it is absolutely as they say a california dream car as far as that goes <clears throat> So here we have big block El Camino. Bought it to rip the motor out of it for a really nice El Camino, but I'm not gonna do that because it's rare. R-beam original headlight. <laughs> Missing that. Of course on eBay all day long, but incorrect headlight. So that was been changed over the year. So again, the history of this car, one owner, all the paperwork. Father passed away sometime 2010 is the story. I think this thing's, yeah, 2010, maybe, maybe 2009, somewhere around there. Uh, air shocks. It's the factory location. Yeah, Junior got a hold of the car, uh, stuck it out in his driveway. Uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, his garage sale items were more important than Daddy's car. And uh, ended up moving to Texas oh a year ago or so and so had it shipped here threw it in the driveway there till i got a hold of it and got it running this weekend and it runs does it run good no gonna drop the tank it's been ethanol gassed we've got it to fire up motor turns over i would say uh try and start it up real quick i'm sure it's uh the socks probably clogged back up now but again, we're gonna put this thing on a lift, clean it up, and I'm just taking a video now of as it was. Nobody's touched. Original hood blanket. Pump it a few times just in case it's got some gas in there. Now crank it over. There we go. She runs. Sounds like hell. Running on all eight, but I think the camshaft probably a little stickier flat.
Go ahead and turn it off. Can you hear me? So I got the idle revved up a little bit too on the carb just to keep it running. But yeah, we're gonna clean this all up and get it going. I like, think the motor's fine. So they need a camshaft, but you know, all the cars of this era cams went flat, so. And R12 still has pressure. I wouldn't say it's up to spec, but it still does. So only thing we can tell has been changed on this motor is of course the water pump, upper belt. Uh, one of these belts, that's still an original GM belt right there on the air condition, believe it or not. Um, plug wires, obviously, got some, you know, throw downs on there. And those throw downs are on there just to get it running because the other ones were, were gone. Um, but that's an original LS4 El Camino. You can see that there. Of course, you know, all of your rustites gonna think that's rust, but it's not. It's really a, a decent car. So I'm documenting it before I decide what I'm gonna do with it. Because I'm not gonna rip the motor out of it to put it in another car. And that's what I bought it for in 10 gonna buy this car to take the 454 out and put it in my show car El Camino rebuild it in the process of course and then put the 350 back in this car and sell it to you but this car's too special to do that too <laughs> So I'll show more videos of this after we clean it up. This is like I said, it's literally as I pulled it out of a backyard. Unrunning.